Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Municipal Director of Education, Mr. Gehad Abujivi, I present to you the keys of this beautiful edifice given to us by Ghana Guys. And I'm standing in for the director to assure Ghana Guys that this place will put to its best use and best results will come out of it. I therefore charge you to take proper care of the place so that if we are asking for more the donors will see why we are asking for more i hand over the keys to you in the name of god the father god the son and god the holy spirit amen, amen. It's like a food is set on the table and we are asking ourselves, why are we here? We are here to eat. So we are here to have this project being given, us, being given to us now officially so that we can own it now and move to it. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much, Mr. Isaac Dijenu. Please, let's give it out to him better. Thank you. Dijenu. A few years ago, I came here to visit your former headmaster, Mr. Agbake. How many of you remember him? Oh, very few of you. Yes. He was my classmate. So I came to the campus to see how well you were doing. And he told me about some of the problems that the school had. I went back thinking, this problem has been there for years. Because I remember being here and having a lot of the ladies come in as day students. My own son was here recently and he had to be a day student. Luckily, the headmaster took him into his voice quarters for a while, but he had to go and rent outside. So I knew that that was indeed a problem that had to be resolved. I went back, sat down and thought and decided that the people of Qatar had always been a generous people. My own mother was here as a midwife, and I personally can attest to your generosity. So I said, I will reciprocate in however little way I could. And as a result, we are here today. That's the reason. <laughs> yeah. As a student of Keta School, I'm really grateful, first of all, to God for touching the hearts of the executives of Ghana Gas and bringing this dormitory to us. It will help not just me as a girl, but every girl from now to, to the end of time. Only God knows when. I'm very grateful to Ghana Gas for 
donating this dormitory to Keta Senior High Technical School. And I hope that there will be more projects for us to come. I'm very grateful to Madame Dolphin and the Executive Board of Ghana Gas and to the President Nana Adodankwa Akufado for making this project come to pass. Thank you so much. I want to start by saying that you need to commend and thank Madame Delphine for the role she's playing for water reading on the board of Ghana Gas. This is not the only project we have in water region. We have a number of them. But look at where Ghana Gas is located. Down south, uh, western, at one point, far away. We don't have any pipe, gas pipe running through water region. But at least we can boast of about 18 projects from Ghana Gas in water region. That tells you the role she's playing on the board. I think we need to also acknowledge uh, Nana Akwache, who also was a board member last four years. But for the sake of the student, I just want to enumerate what Ghana Gas do as a company. Ghana Gas is a registered liability. Our core mandate is to gather, process, and transmit gas from the FPSO, Kwame Nkrumah, and De Kufo. What we do is that we receive gas from the sea, that is the offshore down south to Atwabo in the western region. We process those gas, and then we came up with four products. That's the LPG that we use in our various homes, the lean gas that we produce to VRA to generate power through ECG, and then condensate that we produce to talk that they mix with other for the fuel stations. And then one more item, which is uh, isopentane. I must indicate here that Ghana Gas produce about 45 to 50 percent of the energy support we have in Ghana. And for that matter, that is the reason why we have the light on. So anytime Ghana Gas plant goes down, 50 percent of the nation will be in darkness. And that is what we do. Apart from that, the LPG that we use in our various homes, Ghana Gas also produce about 30 to 45 percent of the local usage. I'm saying all these things to motivate my brothers and sisters here, that as you are growing up, you need to look at it. What is your career course? How will you be part of Ghana Gas? The workforce of Ghana Gas is over 800. All of us, we are Ghanaians. We don't have any expatriate. The engineers, whatever, everybody, all of us, we are Ghanaians. That tells you that you can also grow up if you take your study seriously to join the workforce of Ghana Gas. And we have a lot of Rotarians who are stuck in Ghana Gas. It's an encouragement to you. I want to proceed further. Our CSR is based on uh, some thematic areas education, health, sports, and water and sanitation, as Madame just indicated. Madame has said a lot. So these are four-year 
with one job also, and then four years, including toilet and bath. Those are the facilities. Then we provide also Ghana water connection over here, and then a bubble behind the block which feed the toilet and bath. That is all we have here. Thank you. A place where if parents receive their award, they will receive them before they award the child. That's like that. Another one is a, just a temporary provision stop in order that it will always keep the children indoor so that if they need something, they will not go outside to go and buy to save them for money. So that is a complete set of